Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm so excited that you are here yet again. We're on Vlogmas Day 6, is it? I don't know. Yes, Day 6. We're on day six, so I'm super excited to be still coming at you um, with the Vlogmas. Like, I'm excited. Okay, so let's get right into today's video. Today, I don't really have on my work clothes, you know. I'm kind of, um, I just went out. <clears throat> so, I basically had to ship some orders today, so I took care of that. Um, I also want to talk to you about the orders that, the orders the earrings that are done and then we're going to plan out what i'm going to be doing next um so this is going to be a short shorter vlogmas or whatever and i also want to show you guys some things that i've been working on and we'll just chit chat for a little bit or whatever this is more chitty chatty okay um so first of all let's go ahead and run that intro and then we'll get right into it so All right, so first and foremost, if it's your first time here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. I'm so excited to have you on my channel. If you're just um, coming upon me around this vlog this time, um, that's awesome. I'm glad you're here. Um, but on this channel, I do a lot of Watch Me Creates where I take you behind the scenes of my handmade business and I show you kind of like what I'm making, um, give me tips and tricks on like being a shop owner for yourself. So that's kind of what we do here on the channel. It's kind of behind the scenes of my business and helping you to grow your business if that's your desire or some, I know some of you guys just love to watch the process, which I totally get and i totally love to watch it as well so we're here with that right now i'm just taking these earrings off so i can show you guys so that's what i do here on my channel um during this vlogmas i'm we're working on this project and this is kind of like a personal project um and basically i'm going to be creating 25 pairs of earrings over the next 25 days before christmas so we're already in today six so got about 19 more days to go and i have about 22 more earrings to make <laughs> um, but we'll definitely get a little bit um faster as we go and kind of get the bearings um and sometimes some days you know if you uh watch some of the earlier vlogmas videos some of the days i was just kind of flowing right into the next one to the next video but um had some um other like real world work to do or whatever not my passion not my project and so um did that now we're kind of back even though there's nothing change for you guys y'all been watching it every day anyhow without talking about all of that let's look at what we have made so far the three pair that we have made okay so if you remember, I was, I, um, if you remember, or if maybe you weren't here before, but these were my two inspirations. So this page, so we made two off of this page, and then we've made one off of this page. So um, that's our inspiration so far. And then the next ones, we're going to make some of those off of that page, but I'll have a whole new thing that I'm going to show you guys as well. So we're going to talk about that a little later. But yeah, that's kind of where we've been. So let's see the ones that we made. These were inspired by those bath the bathroom ones. I'm gonna take off the earrings that I have on. So y'all can kind of see. But here these are. Those are inspired by those bathroom, that bathroom, which had like the wow. That had the wood and then the black and white um, wallpaper and then the greenery that was sitting there, which I, I just love. So that's what these were inspired by. Those are them, a person 
They are super cute. I, we did lose some of the wood grain a little bit. I, it's not that prominent. You guys can see that. It's there. When you see it up close, it's, it's definitely a little bit there. But it's not, like, super prominent. Um, but I'm just, it's fine. Now I know I'll probably not want to roll it out as much. But I think it looks really good still. It's still giving me, like, wood, the wood feel. So that's those. They are super cute. I love them. And I'm already thinking about other ones that I can make, like brighter colors. Um, but I really love this design. This is a design that I haven't done. If you guys know, I did I, I did these before on... Um, let me see if I can show you real quick. Oh, they're good. Yeah, they're back here. I'll have these on the other day. The first time I did that design, this little method right here was for these. And these are much, it's a little bit more thicker. So this one is a little bit heavier, not too heavy because it's still polymer clay. But this is super light because I did the, them a lot thinner. But I still put the little, uh, the little hook in the top of this. And basically it's just one of these pins right here. Um, just some of these little, those is what I put in. Pre-bake, so you pre-bake them. It's very easy because I did the texture on these. So basically you insert, uh, you insert it, go back and watch the video. I'm not going to hold explain it, but, um, I really like how these came out and there's very light. So I can really see me making a lot of different ones or different colorways and things like that of these. So I really love these. These are the first ones. And then <clears throat> these are one of the ones. And then here are the other ones. Those ones. So cute. I think they really came out cute. Um, I did. Um, only thing I did not. Okay. Lessons. Oh, let's talk about lessons that we learned from doing these. Lessons I already told you one. The grain. I could have did that a little bit better or just I kind of lost it a little bit. So now I know like what I can do next time. The next thing is the cane. Not exactly what I wanted, but it's not bad. I'm not mad at it at all. It's abstract looking. Like I said, I wasn't trying to do the same thing. So I'm not mad at the cane at all. And then these, they come out perfect. I love it. So not too much regrets on those. These were the next pair. These came out beautiful. The only, it's not a regret. The only thing is, and I knew, I even said this in the video, that that translucent might go a little brown or go a little bit more creamier. Y'all see that? Oh, I'm trying to get the right. Wow, camera action. Y'all see that? It's just a little bit more creamier. It's, so what I would have done different with this is instead of doing the, I really needed to start it, but I just used the Primo translucent, but I really needed like a certain, which is a little bit more whiter. If you don't know the whiter, the certain brand of transparent um, is a lot clearer, more whiter looking. So I really could have used that one if I wanted to get this translucent vibe in it. Another thing is I probably could have did white, did white and pearl. That probably would have gave me the variation that I was looking for without going a little bit more creamier, brownie, not brown, like yellow, yellower. Um, so that's the one thing that I would say I learned about these, but they still look very good. They still look very similar to the picture. I'll put the picture up one more time so y'all can see. Um, I mean, they look very close to the picture. Like, do y'all see those? very close like they're very similar so i'm okay with how they came out i love them they're very light too super light let me put this oh. like yeah they're super light they feel really good yeah i love them i love them so we are good with those love those 
Um, they they were sealed with. Um, I did seal them with the polyurethane. Um, so they are good to go. The next ones we did was the black and white paint type of look. Um, that was in this one. No, this one. The top right corner. I did that same pattern on these. And then I incorporated some gold because it had like a little gold um, lamp or something on there or something. Or, hardware i don't know but i so i did the leather um so somebody was asking in the comments can you bake leather no i did this after so basically i baked then resin them and then we did um i cut the leather out with my cricut um so cut it out and then shaped it i mean you know figured out the right size but yeah that's how they came out and i really like these these were hand cut I didn't use a cutter for these, so I cut these up. Y'all saw it. But I'm just talking to the people who might have missed that part. But this should go back and watch all the videos, right? So these are the these are these. These are these. <laughs> um they are really pretty too. I really, really love these. Very pretty. I love those a lot. Um, so, yeah. And then, guys, remember I told you guys we did a shipment? Well, you remember we started our stud collection? You remember that? We had all the black and white studs. Well, I was in here was talking to my friends, which, oh, my gosh, they are the best, Courage and Amber. And I literally, she was like, oh, yeah, what you making? I know you making something over there. And so I showed her the stud collection that we started. And she was like, yeah, I want all of those. She actually wanted these too, but I was like, these are off limits. Like, you cannot buy these. And this is the thing, you know, um, they're, these are these are not the type of friends they're like, oh, give me these earrings. She was like, how much, are, how much are them? I have money. I want them all. So I, um, so I refused to sell her these because obviously I wanted to show them to you guys. And I want to keep them because at the end of the competition, our competition, I'll put myself in the competition. At the end of the challenge, I want to be able to have all 25 here, do a full try on, you know, do something. I don't know. Keep them all, sell them all. I don't know. So I want to have that full thing. And honestly, the more that I think about it, the more that I think like, oh, I should keep everyone and this could be like my new earring collection. I don't know. Um, I don't know, but I might sell some. Who knows? We'll see. We'll, we'll see. We'll we'll see how it turns out. But anyhow, <clears throat> I yeah, she bought all of them, so I gotta start my stud collection over again because I have no more studs because I just shipped them all to her. <laughs> so that happened. Um, and so I have this very exciting thing that I'm going to tell you guys about in a video, a separate video, not a vlogmas video, um, that I received the other day. And I'm going to give you a hint, but I'm going to show you some things that I did. I tested out on the machine. Wow. And so this is some hair, hair things, uh, hair clips that I made and they're so pretty. They're very, very pretty. Um, I got quite a few of them. So I was testing out this machine. And I made these in one hour. One hour. So let me know in the comments if you have an idea of what how I made this in an hour. I want to know. I'm not going to tell y'all today. The video is going to be coming out soon. I'm not going to tell y'all today. But let me know. If you know how I made these in about, I wouldn't say an hour. I made these over in one, in a, in a, in approximately like five to six hours. Um, but the resin cure very fast. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna tell y'all no more. I'm not gonna tell y'all any more than that. But aren't they so cute? I mean, they are adorable. I haven't did um, hair things in a minute, y'all. But I'm going to be doing a 
I'm going to be doing a, uh, what is it called? I'm going to be doing a couple of different things. Okay, the first thing that we're going to be planning for is we're going to be doing a um, vendor event. So while I'm doing this whole challenge, I got to prepare for a vendor event. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I did uh, make some other things that I'm doing for that. So I'm doing that. I'm also, I need to do a hundred pair of studs for another event. Um, you guys know I do a mag, uh, the magazine. So I need to do a um, hundred pair of earrings for their event. They're like the cover party event for that. Um, what else I got to do? So those are the two major things that like a lot of product productivity needs to happen. Um, and so, um, Francis was talking about some triangles. Um, and so I want to also talk about the next three type of earrings I'm making in the challenge. So the first pair of earrings, so one of the pair of earrings that I'm going to do um, it's, I'm going to put one of these prints, probably this print right here, but I'm going to transfer, I'm going to transfer these, one of these prints. Sorry. Okay. I'm back. Sorry guys. Someone called me and knocked me out for a minute. Um, but I'm going to put, um, eventually multiple. I just printed out a couple cause I didn't re really know which one I'm going to do, but I am going to transfer this print onto some clay. So it's a technique that I've been seeing a couple people do around. And so I have some water soluble paper. Hopefully it works. I'm telling you guys before I even try it, which is probably a bad idea. But, because if it don't work, then I'm be like, y'all gonna be like, what happened to that thing? I'm gonna be like, mm, yeah, it didn't work. But yeah, this is Vlogmas, so y'all, this is raw. Um, Amber loves to say raw and unedited or whatever she be saying. So this is definitely raw. So I'm letting you guys know that that's the next thing I'm gonna be doing is that. So we have that coming. You guys see the earrings. I have very exciting news about resin cure resin curing coming a video all about that put myself on uh, do not disturb because I keep getting calls like really people don't you know i'm talking to my folks on live like what we doing here so yeah that's that's what we're doing with that um i hit 4k today thank you to one of my subscribers she was like congratulations on 4k i was like oh my gosh i didn't even know i was hit 4k but i'm excited for 5k I'm excited for a 5K. So yeah, I just thought I'd pop that up so y'all can know, get ready. Tell your friends. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Let me get to my 5K go. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about that. Excited about hit 4K. Excited to see 5K. Um, hoping that I can get there by January 1st. That's a lofty goal because I've been growing about 250 to five, not 250. I don't know why I said 250. I've been growing from four to five fifty, six hundred um a month. And so I'm trying to double it. <laughs> uh, we'll see. But I think I can do it. I think it could be the it's not, you know, people can grow one K in a day, so it's not unheard of. But yeah. I just need you to subscribe because I know 50 some percent of y'all are not subscribed and you like it here. Don't you? You like it here. You like it here because you keep coming back 
watching videos, just hit the button. It's right on, it's just like right under the video. Hit it. Didn't it change the color recently to like white or red? I can't even remember which one, what color it is, but find it, hit it, subscribe. That'd be greatly appreciated. That's an amazing Christmas gift for you, okay? So yeah, that I want to tell you. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So I'm gonna get out of here. This is oh, this is a short vlogmas video because yeah, I want to really show y'all where we where we are, where we're going, um, with the paper, with the paper situation. This is what we're doing next. So we're gonna do this next. We're gonna come back tomorrow. We're also um we're also gonna be doing some other exciting things as well. So y'all just stay tuned. Y'all keep it locked. I appreciate you guys coming back every single day, watching the vlogmas videos. If you missed any, go back and watch them because I was actually making things in those videos, unlike today. <laughs> But, um, yeah, we just, I wanted to really show y'all, have a moment to show y'all what we made already and then kind of talk about where we're going. So, at this point, I'm just rambling on and on. So, peace out. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye.